Hi booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a used book haul, a Harlequin used book haul. So super excited about this. Um, so originally I was going to film this yesterday and have it go up on Instagram, but I'm like, you know what? You guys love these. So let me put it up here for you guys to see. Um, so yeah, I've got 28 books here to share with you. Um, so yeah, I did go shopping yesterday. I know, I know, I know there's a pandemic going on. I get it. Um, but my town that I still live in, um, the case counts are relatively low. And of course we took all the precautions, you know, uh, stayed away from people. I just kind of went and looked at the books and I'm really glad I went because I kind of hit the mother load. Um, I got lucky and you guys know what that's like with thrift stores. It all depends on what stock people are bringing in. And somebody brought in a lot of vintage ones of vintage Harlequins. And I'm like, so Garrett and I are like pulling them off. Like I'm showing him what to look for. And he's like, what about this one? What about this one? And I think I got the majority of them. There were a couple of them that were, and most of the time I don't care about condition, but some were really destroyed. Like the cover was kind of falling off and stuff. I'm like, no on that one. But um, I'm really happy with what I got. So like I said, I got 28 books. So I got 20 books from that store. Um, not all of them were vintage. Um, and then we went to another thrift store or used bookstore that I like. It's actually a, a used bookstore slash comic shop. So Garrett wanted to go look for something. So while I was there, I wanted to have a look too. So anyway, enough rambling. Let me show you guys the book. So clearly I don't know a lot about all of these, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. So the first one is not a Harlequin. It's the only one that's not. And this is a Coventry Romance. Um, and this is from Fawcett, I think. Fawcett was the, I don't know. Um, but this is The Romantic Widow by Molly Chappelle. Um, a Victorian love story. So I saw this one on the shelf and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. It's number three in the series. So this is a category romance at the end of the day. Um, just not a Harlequin or silhouette category romance. And this one is from 1979, November of 79. This may make its way to Boston. Um, I saw it and my first thought was Steve Donahue might get a real kick out of this one. So I think I might send it on his way because I think he would appreciate this one a bit more than I would. This is definitely more his style. <laughs> he loves these old, like very clean Regencies. So yeah, I think this one might make its way to Boston. All right, now into all the Harlequin ones. So the first one I have here, these are in no particular order. Uh, we have Summer Rainfall by Carrie uh, Aline, and this is Harlequin Romance 2019. Now, the thing was, I noticed a lot of the numbers here, see, there's the, the actual publication. It's not the publication date. It's like, it's the number within the publication. It's whatever number it is within the Harlequin Romance publication. Uh, for, um, um, just to let you guys know, now as of 2020, they're up to over 5,000. So, but I did get a bunch of them that were in like the same run. Like I got like 2019, 2018, 2021, 2022. So, you know, like I got like a run of them, which was kind of nice. Clearly somebody was cleaning out somebody's house. <laughs> and these are all from the late 1970s. So yeah, so there's that one. They've got these kind of colored edges, which I do love. And am I right on the date? Um, 1977. Yeah, 1977. And I got this one a little bit destroyed, but that's okay. I loved the cover on this one. I had to have it. The Dark Side of Marriage by Marjorie Hilton. Isn't that gorgeous? This is 2213. Original uh, original price was 95 cents. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this one I'm just going to have to be extra careful with. Um, published in 1978. 1978. Then we have a Harlequin Presents novel. This is Devil's Causeway by Mary Wibberley. This is number 486 in the Harlequin Presents series. They're up to 3,900 now, I think. And this one is from, I don't know. Let me see. 1981. Oh, Harlequin Presents edition published in 1982. The original hardcover edition was published in 1981 by Mills and Boone in the UK. So yeah. Oh, yeah, again, writing on the cover, it is what it is. You're not going to really find a lot of these in pristine condition, especially if you find them at a thrift store for a dollar. You know what I mean? So I'm perfectly okay with that. This one I was so thrilled to find. This was quite a find. So 
this is a Harlequin American Romance. Now, if you, those of you who've been watching my Harlequin bookshelf tours, I finished my Harlequin American Romance books. Now, this one is unnumbered. There's no number on it. That's because this one is actually the introductory copy. This was published before book number one. So if you really wanted to get technical, this would be book zero in a way in the Harlequin American Romance line. I have book one, which is I think by Sandra Brown. Yesterday's Promise, I think is what it's called. But this one is Twice in a Lifetime by Rebecca Flanders. So if you look this one up on Fiction Database, and it comes, like this one was published in March of 83, and then the Sandra Brown one, which is listed as book number one in the American Romance line, was published in April of 83, 83 or 84. I think it might be 83. Let me see. 83. That was right. Um, so yeah, so um, I am thrilled to have this one that I don't know how many of these are around. I don't know how many. I don't know if they were like where they were sold or what. I, I just what I find funny is that if they were trying to see whether or not this line was going to work, why they would just put it out like the month before the next book. Like why not introduce it like six months before or something. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested. But yeah, I'm really thrilled to have that one in my collection. Um, the next one, some more of the older Harlequin romance. We have Flamingo Park by Margaret Way. This is number 2400. Again, from the late 1970s. Very cool, right? Oh, I love it. And then we have this one. Um, Two Pins in a Fountain by Jane Arbor. This is number 2066. 19, late 1970s. <sighs> This one, oh my gosh. It's like like the cover of like Dynasty or something like that. The Emerald Garden by Katrina Britt, number 2017. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, I can't wait. Um, this one, uh, 2022, this is Hold Me Captive by Margaret Parent Parenture, I think. Yeah, that one's fun. Um, this one, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, is that the same lady on the cover of both of those? I think it might be. So we have Beyond the Foothills by Essie Summers, number 2021. But like, check it out. Is that like the same lady? <laughs> They're like, pose this way. It's going to work. <laughs> we'll use it for a lot of covers. Um, but yeah, 2021, again, late 1970s. Um, this one is a Harlequin um, historical. And I do love these very, very much. You guys know that. Actually, I got two, his I think I got three historicals. But um, these ones are kind of harder to come by in a way. They're harder to find what they are. Um, back when these ones were done, um, th this is from what, the early 2000s? 2007. Um, this is number 806. So it is called Dishonor and Desire by Juliet London. Landon, Landon, excuse me. So um, they were made to look more like a typical historical romance novel. Bear with me. Sorry. So they were made to look more like a typical historical romance novel. That if you were perusing your shelves, you wouldn't know that this was a category romance. Um, that this was just like this. They have now changed that so you can clearly see that these are a Harlequin historical. And I think I've got a newer one here that I'll show you guys the difference. But yeah, so they were made to look that way. And then the picture goes all the way over on the back. Like, this is how you can tell, too, that it's got the Harlequin historical right there. But if you were just looking at it like this, you wouldn't know. Um, and then inside, there is an inside picture, which is always fun. So yeah, so I really like these ones. And then the next one is a bit older, I think. Um, this one is The Return of Chase Cordell by Linda Castle. Castle? Linda Castle. This is historical number 348, and what's the date on it? Um, 1997. So there's that one. And again, like, you know, look at the back, you guys. Something about a soldier returning from war. Actually, this one, I read the back of it. They're a married couple, and he goes off to war, and he comes back from war, and he's, of course, changed from all the things that he saw. So I'm totally interested to see what I think about this one. It sounds really, really good. Um, and then this clearly not the last one. I have um, Chateau de More. I can't speak French to save my life, you guys. Canadian and I can't speak a word of French. This is by Rebecca Stratton. Oh, this one. Pretty neat, eh? 2018. 2018 in there in the series. 
imprint. How could she deal with such ignorance? How could she deal with such arrogance? I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. So excuse me, just let me grab this other little pile here. So here are some more uh, that I have from that uh, from that thrift store. So we have Rainbow from Megan by Jane Corey. Like, is that, could that outfit get any more 1970s? Could it? We have, uh, you know, like a jumpsuit it looks like she's wearing with a big white belt. And look at the collar and his hair. <laughs> Just screams the 70s. <laughs> we have this one, um, which is The Clouded Veil by uh, Isabel Chase, number 2023. Look at that one. Something like, I think it's Morocco. I read the back of this one. Her husband had completely vanished. Very interesting. Um, this one. Oh, another Harlequin historical. The cover on this one is gorgeous. And this is in mint condition. It's like it's never even been read. And I just had to grab it up because the cover was just gorgeous. I have no idea what number this one is. It doesn't say. But it is from... Does it even tell me what year it's from? 2000. So this is Stephanie Laurel's A Comfortable Wife. Look at that, you guys. Is that not stunning? And then it continues on the side and then on the back. Oh, it's gorgeous. Antonio Mannering refused to become an old maid. She was a young woman with plans. And Lord Philip uh, Ruth, Ruthven played a large part in them. Gorgeous cover. Absolutely stunning cover. I love it. I absolutely love it. So yay, I'm looking forward to that one. Oh, and it's all embossed too, right? Oh, fantastic. We have, I love this cover. This is so James Bond. <laughs> like, the guy even looks like Pierce Brosnan, in my opinion. So we have Gemini, who was not my favorite Bond. Rest in peace. Um, um, oh my god, why am I drawing a blank now on his name? He just passed away. He was so good. He played the dad in Indiana Jones. That's what I always remember him from. <laughs> Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. But still, this guy looks like Pierce Brosnan. We have Gemini Child by Rebecca Stratton. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> Obviously, it looks like it takes place in Greece, which sounds good. I cannot wait to read that one. We have another old uh, Harlequin um, Presents novel. This is, by, this is Solitaire by Sarah Craven. Um, number 325. It's from the 80s, 70s, 1980, 1979, 1979, a very good year. And then, um, oh yes, I picked this one up too. Uh, this is number 2406. So this one's a little bit newer than all those ones from the 70s. We have Love Beyond Reason by Karen Van Der Zee. Um, there's that one. And this is from... 1980 and the pages were no longer you know red so yeah and then last but not least uh the oldest presents i think i have now because it's got these edging which my uh none of the ones that i have in my collection do we have familiar stranger by lillian peak this is number 166 in the harlequin presents line and it is from oh gosh guys look like, the pages are even fading at this point. Wow. 1973. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. So, that's what I got at the one thrift store. And then, sorry, let me reach and grab these. And then, my husband and I went over to the thrift store slash comic book store. And um, I picked up some other books. So, these are a lot more recent. And I'm dropping them all over the place. These are a lot more recent. Um, but I'll share them, of course, with you guys anyway. So the first one we have here is The Dad Next Door by C.J. Carmichael. This is number 1471 in the uh, Super Romance line from February of 2008. So yeah, I do love this line. I miss it. This is another one that's now um, no longer being published by Harlequin or no longer being published, period. It's a line that sadly is gone, and I miss it. It was really good. It's very similar to the special edition line, in case you guys read that one. So... And then we have The Other Woman's Son by Darlene Gardner. This is number 1431, July of 2007. Really funky cover. I like the colors on that cover. 
And we have a romantic suspense, a silhouette romantic suspense. This is by Maggie Shane and it's Dangerous Lover. So there's that one. If you have not read Maggie Shane and you actually like paranormal, like vampires and stuff like that, check out some of her vampire books. They're really good. This is number 1443 and it's from December of 06. And then we have a much more recent, actually, romantic suspense. And this is Colton 911, Agent by Her Side by Deborah Fletcher Mello. This is number 2107 from October of 2020. So this is only a few months old. So just to show you guys, um, there's what the, this was actually published under sil the silhouette banner, romantic suspense. And then now it's under Harlequin romantic suspense, but they are part of the same series. So yeah, that's, that's fun. I, um, I'm looking forward to in, I might get to it this month, but maybe not. I'm going to actually do like a, something to do with the covers of these books, a video. So I hope you guys all look forward to that one because uh, I think that that's a lot of fun. Um, then we have a Harlequin Intrigue and this is Texas, uh, Texas Target by Barb Hahn. This is actually from November of 2020. So this just came out this month or I'm filming this on the last day of November. This is number 1960. It's in mint condition, like it's never even been read, you guys. Like, it's gorgeous. Nothing wrong with it. Can't wait to read it. Um, and then we have The Cowboy's Deadly Mission by Addison Fox. Another uh, romantic suspense novel. This is number 2006, and it's from August of 2018. Another intrigue, a little bit older. Wyoming Cowboy Protection by Nicole Helm. Love her, love, love, love her stuff. This is number 1820 from November of 2018. And last but not least, oh, as I was talking, let me find it here, sorry, the Harlequin Historicals. So this is Mistress at Midnight by Sophie, Sophia James. I love her stuff. These are not numbered. The, the historicals have never been numbered at the side, um, but you can look it up online to see which one they are. Um, and this is from 2013. So just to show you, as I was saying, there's how they used to be published, so you, but now they've got the banner so that you can like see that it is a historical. So yeah, but yeah. So that's it guys, that's the book haul. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed showing you guys. I loved that I found these old ones. That is just such a thrill to me. Um, and now I've got so many books to try and fit into these shelves. I just said to my husband that <clears throat> I'm organizing them still now, which is why you can see some of these are like facing to the side because I'm still trying to organize those. And I'm slowly working my way. I'm almost done this shelf. Then I can move over to the shelf over here. But then I'm going to literally be done doing that and have to do it again to fit all these new books in that I'm getting. And it's it's not a bad problem. I will take it. I will take it. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. But anyway, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments below. I don't think so, but if any of you read any of these books or have you read any of these authors, like have you been reading Harlequins for a long time and you may have read some of these authors, do let me know because I'd love to, uh, I'd love to hear that. And, or have you gotten any good book deals yourself um, at thrift stores? And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys.